This is one of those two-in-one stories we're going to talk about, so let's get going, shall we? Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing let me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. So we're going to be talking about a forgotten man here. So during the Preston North End game, we had a really good debut by Momo Diaby and we've not seen him since. And here's the thing. Danny has come out and said that he will be ready for 2020, uh, 2024. So he'll be ready to go. Now, he was really good when he came in. Now, the, here's, the, here's the thing. He's currently not registered. But I can see when they um, sending someone back or someone going back so he can be registered. Danny has turned around and said he will, he will train... He'd been with us and he played with the under-21 in order to get minutes. And then in January, I think he'll be ready to come back. We decided what is best for him and what we can do to his net development. So far, I've seen a player who is able to play the centre of the field, who can carry the ball and have some good passes. Also has some good ball-winning situations. I've seen some good stuff uh, until now. Uh, it's about being ready to get into the good shape because of this game is intense and especially in this league with a lot of tramp transition moments you have to be ready in the tempo of speed and this is what we're preparing to and we'll look at how he is now this is this is something we do need because if you look at what we got at the moment with um if you actually look at what we got at the moment with the likes of other players we're going to be without say uh it sounds like we're more than likely going to lose oh what's he called um John Butley back to Blackburn. But I'm going to be back to Blackburn on the on the kind of thing that he's going to go back injured because he's not been able to... It doesn't look like he's going to be able to shake this injury off. It seems like it's a big injury. And that's a big concern as well. When you get big injuries, especially in that middle of the park, we used to have a lot of midfielders. We now just don't. And that's an issue there. Now, also, yesterday we spoke about how there was going to be a potential goalkeeper possibly coming in by Wednesday. Uh, the 19-year-old James Beadle um, from Brighton and Hove Albion, who's currently on loan at Oxford. There was talk about that. And there is talk now that Pierce Charles, like I said in that video, could be sent out... Uh, on loan and I think that probably be the best thing for him to go get some game time because that's the thing it's all right you're saying playing in the under 21s and whatnot but as long as if you don't get the minutes that you need as a 13 goalkeeper you're really going to struggle and that's something I think we really had struggle with with getting him any kind of minutes going forward um Apologies about that. I had something on my lunch. Um, so we really have to get this sort of soon because we are getting into a period of time where if we don't start getting the minutes it, under him and at 13 level, we're really going to struggle um, to get it him how he needs to be. So I think alone would make a lot of sense here. I think this would be really, really good for his development i think it'd be good for danny to uh do some business and just see who we can bring in to look at and the thing is you look at wendy at the minute only us only leicester and Ipswich town have picked up more points than sheffield went in the last four games and that says a lot about what we're currently building and what we're trying to do which i think is fantastic it credit to danny it credit to his team it credit to the players just being able to get on with stuff and realize that battling through some adversities and see what happens next because i'm not going to lie it's one of these things where if we have the situation where we know what's going on it will help us in the long term but we have to start looking at the next couple of games next game with cardiff um and then once we've got cardiff i believe we've got a big run again coming up so it's cardiff it's coventry it preston and then our first home game of the year is going to be against hull so tough tough games uh two very tricky 
back-to-back away games as well for Wednesday uh, in the Christmas break. So let's see what happens. It will be interesting to see what happens how we play and how Danny can get the team to play. You really hope he's not going to give them the time off. Uh, you really hope he's going to give them a little bit of uh, getting getting back to work and just trying to see what happens. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. Also, today is Talking Wednesday podcast day. It'll be out at 5pm, so please go watch it. I would much appreciate it if you did. Uh, it was a nice uh, me, Jack and James on for a change. It was all three of us. And we haven't done that in such a long time. So it'll be nice to have that uh, to let you guys all listen. It's, a, it's an audio only one because... I currently, when I was doing said um, podcast, I was still at the hospital. So I did that one via the hospital, which was an interesting experience to say the least. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what Wendy as a whole can do. Um, but I believe I believe we're going to be quite busy over the next couple of months. I actually really do. I think, I think we're going to start seeing... A lot of movement. I think Danny's already got things lined up and ready to go. So for me, I think it's a no-brainer. We just look at what Danny's doing. We see how he gets on. And hopefully, he brings in the right people. But what do you think about Pierce Charles going out on loan? What do you think about Momo DRB coming back, which is good? Is there any position where you know we need to improve, but we just haven't had chance to yet? Uh, massively on the yet bit, because... I think there's some position we do need to look at, but we just not had chance to properly go out there and gout them, if that makes sense. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. So let me know what you think. Um, Danny doing the business. Also, Danny on getting the um, better point, about the same point total kind of thing, getting close to Leicester and Ipswich. And you've got to admit, Ipswich and Leicester have been absolutely flying of late. Um... It's going to be interesting near the bottom because you've got a situation where Stoke are about to appoint um, Steve Schumacher from Plymouth. Um, they are not happy at all down in Plymouth. They are very angry, which I can understand. Uh, after a week ago, him saying, I'm not going to be going anywhere. I'm happy where I am. To then suddenly going, all oh, right, I'm going to um, Stoke, which... I'm interested to see what happens. It didn't really do that well for Alex Neal when he went there uh, after Southampton, uh, Southampton, Sunderland. So let's see what happens. Just because you've got a little bit, they might have a little bit more money to spend or if they give you a little bit of better pay doesn't mean it's always the right fit. I'm interested to see what Plymouth do after this. But yeah, it could be an interesting one. Uh, it'd be interesting how their team react, how fast they are to get a manager in. Uh, you really don't want a manager change at this time of the season either. You want it to be a little bit later if you can help it, but kind of thing, but it is what it is. And again, it's an auto club where you haven't expected it. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. I got to go edit uh, this and then put this up for around four o'clock ish and I will see you in the next one. And also thank you for everyone who's been asking about Baby Hunter. He is home now. Added the missive, which is good, a lot of weight off my mind as well.